Hey friends, this is Kelly with Captiva Home and today we're going to start on an awesome new finish. We'll be painting this piece behind me and I've had a lot of fun planning this one out. Um, so let me know which option you would have picked. Um, I offered a whole bunch of different ones to my page. I am with Captiva Home. I'm a retailer for Dixie Belle in Framingham, Massachusetts. Um, so that's been super fun and I just launched my new website. So if you are anywhere around the country, um, you can shop right there and have it shipped right to your door. So awesome news, I'm super pumped. Um, check it out and let me know what you think. So we've been having a lot of fun trying to decide which color to use here. So a couple different options and they all would have worked great, but we'll see what I'm gonna do. So this is actually Dixie Belle Driftwood. So this is a really nice neutral um, gray color. It would be so pretty. And then this piece also has a nice big mirror and so it is a vanity, it's very feminine, very pretty. Um, so we're gonna go for a pretty finish. So this would be great, maybe a little safe. So let me know what you wanna think. Uh, and then this is muscadine wine. So this is a gorgeous red. Um, it looks a little more red there. It's kind of more brown tones. So this I think would be so fun, very feminine um, and different. So gray is expected. Um, there's a lot of grays going on, always gorgeous, but maybe a little boring. And then this is another option that I had. So this is Bunker Hill Blue. So hello, hello, thank you so much for joining. Let me know uh, where you're watching from and what you would do. So this is Bunker Hill Blue. It's very blue. It looks more blue right now. It kind of dries a little darker to a navy. So that would be great too. And I also want to use the Moonshine Metallics. So I have a couple different options and I have some of the new products, so I'll show you those too. So I thought navy and gold could be classic, gorgeous. Um, that would be a lot of fun. And then also I was looking at Hurricane. So this is a nice kind of darker gray. So this would be great. Again, really pretty. I was thinking about doing a blending from Driftwood into Hurricane and then pairing it with the Steel Magnolias. So this is the Moonshine Metallics, brand new. They are live on my website. So if you want to get them right now, just go to CaptivaHomeDecor.com and you can order the Moonshine Metallics. Um, I believe they launch shortly everywhere else. Um, so this is a really nice, kind of more pewtery color. So I want to use one of these metallics on this piece. So I have that one and then this is Gold Digger. So really fun names. Um, this is a golden color, amazing, so pretty. And I'm not sure if you can see the legs right now down here. So this is where we're gonna do metallics. I think metallic like all the way on the leg is what I'm planning. So I think that would be really, really fun. Um, so I've been considering what to do. Um, you guys had some great options. Any of these would work really, really well. Um, they're all great neutral colors, but I wanna go a little bold. So we're actually gonna do the muscadine wine. So this is different. Uh, we don't see a lot of reds as much as the, you know, the grays and the blues. Those are really popular right now. Um, so this is gonna be super fun. I've done a few red pieces and there's always a little apprehension, but then they turn out really, really nice. So thank you so much for joining, um, especially if you're new to watching me. Um, I'm Kelly with Captiva Home and I do a lot of these webs, um, videos on my Facebook page and YouTube um, and we do a lot of projects from start to finish. So I usually start with picking out the finish and then people like to see how it all progresses. So I'm kind of bringing you into that right now. So if you like this, please go to my page at facebook.com slash Captiva Home. Um, join me there, we do this a lot. And then I also just launched my brand new website this weekend. So I'm super pumped about that. And I'm a Dixie Belle retailer, so you can buy the, all these Dixie Belle products right there and have them shipped to your door. So I just bought a little bit of dust, that's what I was doing there. So we're gonna get started. Um, again, let me know where you're watching from, what you think. Um, it's so nice to see you all here. And if you want to share this with a friend, that is super appreciated. So if you want to share it in groups, tag a friend, whatever. Um, we're going to start here. And I'm actually going to do a little bit different than I thought. So we know the muscadine wine. That's going to be the primary color here. And then um, I'm actually going to add a little bit of the pink champagne. So this is a lighter pink. Um, it's almost white. But I thought that would work well with blending into the red just because they're coming from the same color family as opposed to like a white. So we'll be using that. And this does have a nice big arch mirror. So I think what's gonna happen is it's gonna go from light 
and then blend down to the uh, more dominant uh, muscadine wine. And I don't know if I'm saying that right. So if I'm not, sorry. Um, and then we're gonna do the legs in either the steel magnolia or the uh, gold digger. So I'm not sure, let me know. I seriously don't know which one I'm gonna do. Um, if it should be the gold digger or steel magnolia legs, because we're gonna have that muscadine wine and then into one of these. So I think either will work, let me know. But we're gonna get started over here. I've already poured off my paint into a handy little cup. So this is my favorite way to paint. Um, these are actually like takeout cups from a sushi place. Um, turns out you can also get them on Amazon and they're really handy because you can pour out like half an inch of paint and that's really all you're gonna need. This paint goes so far and you can also add, extend a little bit with water. So I need my water bottle actually. Um, and then I can also seal this up. So when I'm done painting, all I do is pop it on and I can walk away, no problems. Um, I find the like painting out of the jars a little bit cumbersome. So that's why I do that. So I like to start over here and we're just gonna do some long even strokes. Let's see if I can get you a better shot there. And right now I have this prop, uh, propped up on a odd little configuration. Muscadine, okay, good. So I'm glad that's right. So this actually has been prepped already. Um, I am a, called an old school painter. Um, I always prep, I always prime. Um, this is prepped with the white lightning. So we use this and then mix it up in a water bottle, spray it down, and then make sure that you rinse it with some of the water. So do that and then sand and then I use the clear boss. So that is this right here. And this just gives me a great foundation. So I'm a professional furniture painter. I've been doing this for, 19 years. Um, so I really appreciate having a nice solid foundation because you never know what your piece has been through and what might happen. Um, so I know that when I prep and clean it, that I have a solid foundation. I've already addressed any, um, filling any holes if I need to and all that. Yeah, you can see that. So that's what I've done there. And then the clear boss, it just seals in anything. So if there's tannin bleeds, which with this color, probably wouldn't be such a big deal. You just never know. So I take the precaution. Do you need to? No, might be unnecessary, but we'll see. So I'm just spritzing my brush. I like to make sure that I have kind of a loose consistency. And when it feels just a little bit tight, then I add a little bit of water, keep going. Um, I think what we're going to do is add a little bit of that pink champagne and kind of start that process. So when you're blending, of course, there's a million ways to go about it. Um, but one thing that I like to do is lay kind of a nice foundation and then add your colors, uh, blend in the colors after. But I'm going to try doing a little bit here just to give us a kind of a preview of what's gonna happen. So look how easy that was. It took me a minute, just painted that whole side of it. Um, we already have a nice, gorgeous contrast. Uh, you do wanna always paint with the lines of your piece um, or with the wood grain if that's appropriate. Whoop, sorry. Um, so I am gonna do the top probably last just cause I have a whole bunch of stuff on it. Um, but yeah, muscadine line, gorgeous. So this is gonna be so fun. And then let's see what happens when we add just a little bit of the uh, whatever this is, pink champagne. Um, so I wanna see, this is gonna be really pretty. It's a very feminine piece, so I figure we'll work with that. Um, many times you want to kind of look at your piece and take some cues from it. So while this would be great in like that navy tones, um, that felt a little bit more masculine to me in this moment, um, and I wanna really play up the pretty aspect. So what could be prettier than pink and white? Um, that's just, so feminine. And then that's also why I'm thinking maybe the golden tones. Or what's it called? Gold digger for the metallics. So this, I think that might work. Um, I'm not super concerned about getting the blend perfect right now. I just wanna see what's gonna happen. And I think that's gonna be really cool. Um, I did have my bell brush. So this is um, 
the Dixie Belle Bell brush. So this is a natural bristle brush as opposed to the synthetic ones that I'm using. Um, and I find that it really just blends sometimes better than the synthetic one does. So I'll alternate between them. And then that's basically the idea. We are gonna do those gold legs. Um, and then metallics. So the metallics, you have a couple different options. These are one step metallics as opposed to the old metallics. Um, so I'll try to speak up a little bit louder. It is, I don't know, same as normal. Um, so with the uh, other metallics, you would have to lay your base coat and then come in for the other color, uh, the shimmer. This is actually one step. So these you can just paint right over, depending on how opaque you want it to be. So if you want it to be really solid color, you might want to use a very similar color under and then do um, this on top. If you're looking for a little bit more translucent or you're willing to add a couple more coats, then you could just go straight to this. So what I'll do is um, do a base color, probably just a muscadine, and that way it might be a little bit translucent and really fun. And then I will add, I think the gold, I think that's gonna win over that. So that's my plan there. Um, I should have done that blend right there earlier. And blending on screen, not the easiest thing to do. So if you're doing this at home, um, it's a lot more fun. Um, but doing it in front of all you guys is special. So again, I'm Kelly with Captiva Home. Um, I'm a Dixie Bell retailer in Framingham, Massachusetts. I'm actually based in Berlin, but very close. And then I just launched my brand new website. So you can get all these new products, which also include the hemp seed oil. So this is coming out well, it's actually live on my website. And then this is really great for adding a, just an easy finish, especially over raw wood. Um, you can really revive it. It just, it's so pretty. Um, so I'll probably use this on the interior of the doors, drawers, or there's also the Big Mama's Butter. So this, super fun, um, really nice scents too. So this is an orange grove. It actually will dry clear. It looks a little orange there. Um, but it smells so fresh and so clean. So this is really cool. Um, you would use this over, again, like your wood drawers. It can really help them to slide nicely and freshen them. So it's also gonna deodorize um, and give a nice soft feel. So this is really cool. And then there's also, along with that, the Suzanne's Garden. So this is also clear, um, but it has a more floral scent. So this could be really nice, and especially where we're going so pretty with this, I might use that um, scent on this piece. And then there's also unscented. So if you don't like scents, do that. Um, and then those are available on my website, which I'm super pumped about. It just launched uh, Friday, so it might not be perfect yet. If you see anything, please help me out and let me know. Um, but that's at CaptivaHomeDecor.com. And there you can shop for a Dixie Belle, and um, sign up for my workshops. So I do live workshops in Framingham as well. And then um, I also blog a lot. So if you want to see more projects, you can follow along there and learn about all kinds of different stuff. And that is very new. So check that out. Um, and thank you all for watching and sharing. Um, we are working with Muscadine Wine, and this is the Pink Champagne. So this is a really nice light color, and I'm just starting with the base of this uh, blending. So I'm not worried about like getting it perfect right now, but I just want to start off and kind of preview where my finish is going to go. So that's why it doesn't look like perfect, um, but it will. So it'll be really pretty in the end. Um, and all I'm doing is kind of basically mixing the colors on the piece. Um, it's kind of how I like to look at it. So a lot of odd strokes, and then I like to level it off with a stroke in the right direction. So you can see how um, it kind of, they blend in together, and it acts as a highlight with the white uh, and the pink champagne color. It's very light, almost white. And then it will blend into the muscadine wine. As we go down, it's going to be ombre from the mirror, which is a large one over at the top. 
And then into the legs, I think these are gonna be, I don't know, probably the gold digger. And those will be really fun and very feminine. And then I might even add some gold leaf. So I think that's always like super fun to play with. Um, I did one piece where it traveled across like in a wave and I thought that was really great. Um, so let me know what questions you have. Even if you're watching later, um, I can still see those and I like to help you guys out however I can. Um, so if you have any questions about the colors or the process or um, anything, um, I've been doing this for a long time and I really like teaching people all these tips and tricks. Oh, and I did link my supply list too. So that's another thing that people always ask about um, because I have some, I don't know, great supplies, I think. So I put together a list and that way you can go grab those things. They're usually clickable, so you can go right to Amazon, have it delivered right to your door. Um, one thing that people always love are those, oh, these things, I'll show you. So these are furniture dollies. You ever seen this before? These are fantastic. So this is typically what I use for my pieces when I want to move them around. Um, especially on screen, it's of course nice to get you guys a good shot. So today I actually have it perched up on a, I don't even know what it is, um, something that we repurposed. It's just a box on wheels. So this is not ideal. This is just for the video. But what I do around the shop is use these handy little wheels and that way I can move big pieces of furniture around and it's really easy. So these are on Amazon, they're super cheap. Um, we have a lot of them because they work really, really well. So that's something that's on my supply list and that is linked in the notes if you wanna check it out. Um, I think we're gonna move over here and do this drawer. So you see how pretty that little bow is? That is one of the reasons that I thought we should go feminine with this piece because it's just so cute. Um, I do have a couple of its other pieces in the set, like that piece behind it. Um, so I've done them all a little bit different. So you can kind of see how the different details can be accented in interesting ways. Um, that, can you see that piece? Yeah, I can kind of see it. So that is, um, Gosh, I'm blanking on the color. I know it's mermaid tail and then into, oh, stormy seas. Um, so that is super pretty. Um, I need to finish up that piece and then I'll be sharing that on the vlog. Um, yes, the muscadine wine one. So for anyone who's just joining, let me get here. Um, I'm Kelly with Captiva Home. I am a Dixie Bell retailer. I just launched my new website so you can go right there and buy any of this stuff. The new products are live there, so you can place your order right now. Um, and then today, I was working with my followers and we voted on what finish we should use here. So I offered a few different options. Um, one of them was driftwood. So this is a really pretty gray, um, super neutral, very pretty, kind of expected. Um, we see a lot of grays right now, so I thought that I would do something different. Um, the muscadine wine, which of course has one. Um, this is what I'm working with today. So this is like a deep scarlet wine color. Um, I thought it'd be really pretty, a little different than normal. This is Bunker Hill, Bunker Hill Blue. Um, so this is a great navy. It does dry a little bit darker. So you can, I would, I was considering using that and then doing the gold to pair with it. I thought that'd be really classic. Um, but I actually have a better piece for the navy, so that's why I did that. And then Hurricane, which is a nice deep gray. This is so pretty, um, but I've used it a lot. I wanted to try something new. So that's why we're going with the Muscadine wine today. So I'm just doing a base coat right now, um, and we're going to actually blend it into the Pink Champagne. So Pink Champagne is almost a white. Um, so it's really, really light. I thought that'd be better than going with straight up cotton. Um, that way they have kind of the same tones to play with. So I'm just adding a little bit. Um, this is a base coat, so I just want to preview what it's going to look like. Um, and it does have that big mirror. So it'll be kind of ombre from the light in the mirror and then down into the um, deeper muscadine wine. I might even add a little bit of caviar. We'll see. 
Um, not sure exactly where this is going. And this is a piece that I will have for sale. So that allows me to have a lot more fun with it um, than some of the custom stuff that I do. So that's why we're going a little bit funky. Um, we're gonna have some fun. So let me know, is that, what option would you have picked? Um, would you have gone for the muscadine wine or something else? Um, I think any of them would work really well. They would all be pretty. But I want to try something different. And I've done a few red pieces in the past, and they're always a little bit scary, but then they turn out fantastic. So I hope I'm not frozen. Are we good? Let me know. Um, it looks like you guys are still watching, so we should be okay. So here I'm just blending a little bit. Um, I could come in with my bell brush has been really nice to blend with. So this is the uh, natural, bristle br natural bristle brush. So that's really nice to work with. Oh, I'm actually working with on the other ones. These are the synthetic bristles. So these are really nice. These are the Dixie Bell um, really great brushes. And I chose this one because of the short handle. So this is nice because especially once I get in here, there's gonna be some awkward angles. Um, so when you're working with like a hutch or anything with smaller spaces, eliminating that handle is so helpful. Um, so this is a two inch head with the synthetic bristles, super easy to use, really nice. Um, you can use it wet or dry, depends on your preference. Um, I like to use a little bit damp because it helps the water extend a little bit. Um, the paint level out better, so that's why I do that. So let's move over here. Yeah, so I think that's gonna be really fun. I am gonna paint this top once I'm, you know, done with this. Um, so we're gonna keep moving with these drawers. I have masked them off. So I know it looks like I'm kind of painting a little wild, um, but they are all masked and taped off. So that way I have nice clean lines. And then once I unwrap them, I will use the, um, one of the new products, I don't know exactly which one, whether it's going to be the hemp seed oil or the Big Mama's butter, and those will finish off the drawers really nicely. So yeah, I'm based in, well, I live in Berlin, Mass, and then my shop is in Framingham. So really fun place, um, it's called Avenue C Design, and I'm just a tiny part of it. Um, so if you're ever looking for Dixie Ball products, you can purchase them right there. You can also go to my brand new website um, and grab them there. And that way you can ship around the country. Um, I do a lot of stuff. Um, I do a lot of information and projects on my Facebook page and then those turn into blog posts. So you can join me there if you'd like to check out some different projects, um, some tips and tricks and such. So that is at facebook.com slash Captiva Home or CaptivaHomeDecor.com is the website. And of course, you'll be able to get all the info there. And I just launched it, so it's a little bit fresh. Um, it's not as done as I envision it, but it's coming along. So and if you've ever launched a website, it's not easy. There's a lot of things. So this is blending. So what we're gonna do is the pink champagne kind of into the muscadine wine and then we will add the legs. So I think the legs are going to be that gold digger. And I'm just kind of switching brushes. I like to have one brush for the primary, each primary pink. Um, so yes, muscadine wine. And maybe I'll move it over there, that might be better. So this piece was already thoroughly prepped. Um, I used the white lightning and then the clear box and taped it off, sanded, all that good stuff. So we should, knock on wood, not run into any issues with it, but you never really know. And here, I'm just kind of getting that nice first coat on. Um, you can get it on with kind of stray brush strokes, and then I always recommend leveling it off in the direction of the wood grain or, you know, the lines of the piece, however that's gonna work. So I am gonna add some more pink. This is just a base coat, so I really, I wasn't even gonna do it right now, but I did want to lay more of a foundation and kind of preview what's gonna happen. So now I know roughly where we're gonna have that transition point. And then with my next coat, which I'll do off screen because it's much easier to blend 
when you don't have everyone watching. Um, I will do a little bit more uh, precision blending. So I'll make sure that it's really nice. Here, just kind of laying it on, getting started, playing with my creative process. Let's see how that goes. So this, um, I know someone was asking if the new waxes and the scents might be irritating for some folks. It's possible, you never know. Um, but there is also an unscented version of the Big Mama's Butter. So it comes in three versions, which I can show you. Um, this is orange. This is my favorite. So this is really clean smelling. Um, smells like oranges. Very easy to imagine. Um, really nice. Not super overwhelming. Um, I think it's pleasant. So that one I really like. This one is Suzanne's Garden, and this is more of a floral. Um, it's florally. I don't know exactly which flower it smells like, um, but it smells like a garden. Um, so those are really nice. And then it also comes in unscented. So if you aren't a huge fan of scents or you want to keep it neutral, um, you could go with the unscented version, um, but it may not neutralize odors as much. So that is uh, something to consider because the Big Mama's Butter does neutralize odors and cover them up nicely. So I'm looking forward to trying it. Um, on this piece, on the drawers, I'm either gonna use the Big Mama's Butter or the hemp oil. I'm not entirely sure yet. So look at that. I really like this color. Um, I wasn't quite sure if it was gonna be vibrant enough. Um, I thought it might almost blend in with the wood tones of the piece. But this is definitely going to be a statement, and that's what we're going for today. And since this is such a feminine piece, that's another reason that I chose the feminine colors. Um, many times you want to work with the piece. If it has defining details, it's easier to just kind of run with that and try to fight it. Um, so one of the kind of uh, ideas I was considering was maybe, and I think that'd be really fun. But sometimes that can be kind of a uh, masculine. Um, so that's one reason that I didn't quite want to go with that this time. Um, I do love navy. I use that a lot. Um, it's a great neutral. But this one's so pretty. And if you look at the bow, it's just such a pretty piece. I thought we'd do pretty colors. Um, let's see. Oh, and someone said that the floral wasn't as that it was pleasant. Um, that's great to know. I'll be using that soon and I'll have more concrete feedback about it. But for now, um, I love hearing what your experiences are, um, things that I can help you with. So do you guys have any questions? Um, is there something that you wanted to learn? Um, I'm always looking for ideas that I can share with my people on my page. So, oh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> uh, so if there's anything that you are wanting to learn about, questions that you have, please let me know because I would love to help you with that. Um, and that, I was just spritzing the piece. This is all water-based paint. So as it dries, it gets a little bit thicker. And if you feel like it is too thick, um, spritzing it will help you to kind of loosen up the paint and then you can manipulate it a little more. Make sure that it gets everywhere that you want it to be. Um, so. That is what I like to do. I love that the Dixie Belle paint has a long open time. So that allows me to get the paint and create what I want before it dries. So that is, in my opinion, a huge selling point. Um, wicked easy to use. I mean, you saw I just painted this whole thing in like 20 minutes and been talking the whole time. Really easy. Um, super nice products to work with. So, Someone's asking about the paint cups. These are like one of my favorite things to use. I use them every time I paint. There's at least 50 of them around the shop. Um, they're really nice. They fit in your hand well. And instead of painting out of the jar, which could get, you know, stuff caked on it, um, if you spill, not such a big deal. Um, you don't have to worry about wasting your paint as much. And if you're blending, then you might get a little bit of the different colors mixed in. So that way, if you, um, if you add a little bit of color to your you know, pure paint, it could change it over time, could become an issue. So 
that's why using another reason using the cups allows you to keep your paint really pure. So I see a lot of comments and can't really answer them right now because um, I can't see them. But I do like to answer later. Um, do you guys want to see the top? Let's do that real quick. Uh, let me move all these things. I was gonna do a wood top, but then eh, decided not to. So let me know what questions you have. We'll do this top. Um, I don't usually show the tops because they typically aren't visible um, or they're just awkward to get to. Um, but I think we can get it in the shot. So the white paint is actually um, pink champagne. So this is whoop, um, a very light, light, light pink. Um, so that I thought would work better than just cotton. So the cups are, if you go to my supply list, which is linked in the notes, um, it's all part of that. So you can get the cups and then all the other stuff that I reference and talk about all the time. Um, I got so many questions about it. I figured it's just easier to put it in a document for you and that will get you on my email list so that I can share all my products with you, uh, projects. So that is there. Um, they're available on Amazon. Makes it really easy um, for a long time. I found these, these are actually sushi, I mean uh, miso soup containers from my favorite sushi place. So every time we go there, I would insist on keeping the container. Um, and then I figured out you can just order them and if they're cheap and much easier and I don't have to pay for the soup first. So that was my plan there. So here I'm just getting all the edges and then I'll come in and do some broad strokes on the top. And then I am gonna add the pink champagne on the top here. Cause I've already blended it up. So now it needs to be a consistent color from there. So that is my plan there. Yeah, I love the soup too. So I mean, it wasn't like terrible, but it's kind of silly to order soup just to get a container to paint out of. So ordering online has worked out much better. Um, typically, you don't want to roam around your piece this much, but it's kind of awkward right now to get all these spots. Let me see if I can get it up close. Well, that might be better. Um, you do want to keep an eye on your piece as you're painting. So you might notice that I've been walking around it the whole time. Um, I'm constantly looking for drips or sags or places that I missed um, because if you can catch it while it's wet, um, it's easier to deal with. Um, if you miss a sag or a drip, you can always sand it out, but it's easier to catch when it's wet. So I always move around, um, make sure that you watch any areas like if you're painting a chair, um, it's tough to get all the different spots sometimes. Uh, many times you'll finish and then realize you totally missed a leg. So by moving around your project more, um, you'll probably catch those things before it's too late. So let me know what questions you have. Again, if anyone's joining, this is Kelly with Captiva Home. I am a Dixie Bell retailer and I'm based in Berlin, Mass, but I have a shop in Framingham. So that's a little bit more closer to Boston. And we're working with muscadine wine today. So I'm really digging this color. It's super feminine. Um, it's really, I think it's gonna be great. Uh, we'll be doing the, I think, gold digger on the legs. I think I've decided that as we're painting. And then, now I'm adding some of the pink champagne. So this is what we're gonna blend into. There is a mirror, so it will blend more um, down the front. And this, yeah, I guess I'm just gonna end up painting the whole thing with this. I was considering if it should be like kind of a white spot, but I don't think that totally works. So yeah, if you're looking for like super durability, um, the paint does not need to be sealed. Um, that's one of the great things about it. It's super easy to use, and depending on your use, you could um, just paint it and then let it cure, and it's gonna be really nice. Um, if you're looking for more durability, like someone asked, um, then using a top coat 
is a great idea. Um, gator hide is the most durable of the Dixie Belle top coats. So that, well, you can't see. Um, that is the most water resistant, um, really nice to work with and really uh, protective. So gator hide's a great one. And you could also use a satin or gloss or the flat top coat. Um, it's not quite as durable. So depending on your usage, you want to, want to consider that. And this, since I'm just blending this color on here, uh, it requires a lot of blending it on a piece um, because I'm basically using it this top as a color palette. So what I'll do for my second coat is maybe mix up kind of a medium tone and start with that here. Um, I think that might work out better. But this is just a base coat. So like I said, I'm just kind of exploring my idea here. And then with the second coat, which I will do off camera, um, then it will be more of a finish, pretty polished blending. So I think that's gonna be the end of that right there. So Gator Hide is kind of a satin. Um, it's not a matte finish. So it's got a little bit of sheen. Okay, and this actually looks really cool. I'm like super happy with this. So let me see if I can get you in front. Um, these brushes, I'm actually, I like them more than the Klingon. Um, so can you see that? Kind of. But this, this piece is gonna be great. So I've been very happy with the Dixie Bell brushes. Um, the bristles are very similar. They handle very similar, um, but I really like the different handle options. So these have been great. Um, there are, this one's my favorite. So I really love a one and a half inch flat brush. So this is perfect for me. So I love that. And then this is the Synthetic Mini. So this one is really handle, uh, handy, um, great for getting on the interiors and it's a little bit lighter, feels really nice. So I like those a lot. Um, this piece, I'm getting super pumped about. So, you see that? Yeah. So we're gonna blend into it. We're gonna do those legs, either the Moonshine Metallics in Steel Magnolia, or what's probably more likely is the gold. Um, I think that'll be really glam and pretty and feminine. So thank you so much for joining me. Um, I am Kelly with Captiva Home and I'm a Dixie Belle retailer. So if you wanna go grab any of these things, um, go to my website at captivahomedecor.com or come visit me in Birmingham, Mass. And that'll be that. So have a great day. I'll talk to you soon. And thank you so much.